what it exactly it was. Um, you said I saw I saw just things being created, and then all of a sudden, bang to black space, universe, Earth, and then my version of the Big Bang is these guys with arrows that when they shoot them it explodes and that's what creates one and it's not just one big bang there's i don't know so many of course so many different universes. you know kabbalistic thing about those like that it's so that you think you know from is this how music. much is reality just a perception of it's all perception yeah i mean it's real but you see, you see what you need to see but you don't see like uh, demons, meaning all the garbage that people see on those... No, you don't mushrooms. see anything scary, nothing that's going to scare you. But you, you saw two worlds. Mm -hmm. And you not, you could you could have chosen the correct world. Mm -hmm. It always focuses in like this, too. It comes in and it focuses in on what you're seeing and then it comes out. And then it'll focus in on something else. And you can see it. You have a lot of control, and then it focuses out. And then sometimes it just, if you get really deep, it's just... It's everything. Scary? No, not scary. This is so, it show, it's simply your own subconscious shows. Yeah. And choose the right role. That's it. Some of your bad thoughts, but then you told me before, I mean, a person, God forbid, committing suicide, something like this, it never should cross anyone's mind. And that's why, you so said, what happens if it showed you? <laughs> the other thing can happen too. Okay, I'm very glad you said that, because for those people, those adults or kids, whatever, I call anybody under 50 a kid, okay? On the 60 year kid. So never think of anything to hurt yourself because that's a world that standing there and that's God for a the person can end, end up in. I never thought about killing myself until then, until the past year. And I never want to think about it again because it's a horrible feeling to wake up every morning and write in my journal. I'm going to the methadone clinic and all I can think about is just ending my life. <laughs> God, then you end up here, so you could. Okay? Yeah. That's, it's not. You're gonna go steal, you're going to steal a bit. Remember, how many years you taking drugs? Since I was 13 years old. Uh, so 13, somewhere around. I was doing nine, 10 years. Went since I was 16 years old, on and off. <sighs> yeah, so all this guy. Spiritually, physically, like, come on, let's come here. Right? You have any withdrawal? Real withdrawal? This is ten days after method. Do you have any withdrawal? Uh, just I, not. I wouldn't say it's withdrawal. I don't know. Anxiety. Anxiety. A little bit. Very normal. And I say and I tell you, but you're gonna come here. You're gonna have some anxiety. That's why you're here till two weeks. Yeah, yeah but it's us. not. It's not like rehab where they're just gonna sit you out. Drying. Sorry. Uh, there's, you know, cold turkey you off of everything. That's the last thing I, the last time I went to rehab. The only rehab I've ever been to, I uh, came off of 30, 24 milligrams of Suboxone and Xanax every day and I just cold turkey it. I was sick for three months straight. And uh, I had to leave that rehab because they were trying to make me do stuff that I couldn't do. <laughs> I, I went walk. through one year of hell. Okay, oh. cold turkey, 26, 27 years. Okay, I'm gonna mean not remember it was so hell. One year, I went through hell, and I was older than you. Then. Yeah, and when you're older, it's like like the other guys' age. And and just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. It's just gonna no. no, I've been through it all. I've had Truthfully, I don't know how you did it. Today, I don't know how I did it. I don't know. So oh, who did it? Me. 
Oh, how you did it. One yeah. year, cold turkey. There was no Ivy. And at that time, those things were not allowed around. I was looking, I would pay a million dollars just not to go through the hell I was going through. Raising six kids and running a big company. Whew. It was a hell of hell. And you couldn't take off any time? <laughs> Yeah, and I have done that too. I've worked through tremendous withdrawals. I've put my body through withdrawal so many times that I just, I, I couldn't do it again. And nobody should. It's a solution. Why should you suffer? I don't want anybody coming here suffering even a minute. Especially, I'm talking about withdrawal. Anxiety, after a little bit of lack of sleep, yes. That's all unknown. Leg pain, a little bit of back pain, it was all the garbage coming out of your body. That's all.